Hello, Fastmatic friends! Today we're going to study the inverse rule of three. A very, very important subject. I can say that direct rule of three is most important than inverse rule of three, but you have real life cases where you have to use it. So let's see one example. So imagine you have builders and you have months of construction thinking in a house it is very very important that if you have direct rule of three or inverse rule of three if you write here builders then you are going to write builders up and down and if you write here months here you are going to write or calculate months. And if you put here money, so you're going to write data of money here. And if you write here kilograms, you're going to write those data here. Then, imagine you have 10 billers making a house in... 18 months. What happens if now you have 15 builders instead of 10 builders? How many months do you need to finish that house? Here it is very important to say that this kind of problem is inverse. Because, think, if you have more builders, less months. Less builders, more months to finish. That is a very important characteristic when you analyze inverse rule of three problems. For instance, less food, more people is dying. More food, less people is dying. That is another example of inverse rule of three. So to solve it, you have to flip those two numbers in the column where you have two numbers. Because in that other column, you then have two numbers. But in the column you have the two numbers, you are going to flip them and you are rewriting the rule of three. And now you are going to solve it as a direct rule of three. Remember, where you have two numbers diagonally, you are going to multiply that and the answer is going to be divided by the number that doesn't have a couple diagonal. Then I write <clears throat> the unknown is going to be equal to 10 times 18. Remember that when you write parentheses is a multiplication divided by 15. Then 10 times 18, 180, divided by 15, and the final answer is 12 months. Then when you see an inverse rule of three problem, so when you identify a rule of three problem, you have to slow down and think deeply. If your problem can be solved with direct rule of three or with inverse rule of three, it is very important. Here it is logical. More builders, less months. Instead of 10 builders, 15 builders will finish the house not in 18 months, but in 12 months. Thank you very much for your attention.